Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Visa Tutorials. It's a continuation to my last videos. The last videos were how do we create KSGS files and the, the different methods we have seen and we also saw like uh, how do we delete this cluster. So this video is completely about creating ESDS, KSDS and RRTS. So it's an entry sequential data set so in the same way you need to write a separate JCL in order to create this cluster so and uh, with the help of IDCAMS utility you are going to create this cluster so what are the parameters you need to pass as usual same like ASDS you are right you're trying you have to specify these parameters in this in the start that is defined cluster name of the cluster the tracks and the record size and there is uh, the only thing is non index and the controls interval size so it means that there will be a no indexed file created for this ESDS compared to the KSDS and also you are not specifying any key parameter here why since there is no index so we are not going to use any key since it is a separate from index file so we are going to create we are we are typing it here as a non index so let's connect to the mainframe and see uh, how do we create this so, and before this I will show you and I want to show you also how do we create the RRDS file so how, how it is different from ESDS and RRDS the same way with the help of ID cams and uh, program utility uh, you are going to create the same cluster so define cluster name volume track record size instead of non index you have to specify it as a number that's the same as uh, that's the one difference for ESDS and RRDS in ESDS you are showing it as non index whereas in RRDS you have to specify it as a number next is LDS so it also remains the same so you have to define cluster name tracks volume here the thing is you have to specify it as a linear here you are specifying uh, here you are specifying it as a number whereas it you have to specify it as a linear okay so these are the different uh, differences between these ESDS, RRDS and LDS so now we'll let's connect to the mainframe and see uh, how do we, how do we create this okay okay now I'm connected to the mainframe okay you can see here uh, I wrote a separate JCL for this and uh, the next is a comment section JCL to create ESDS cluster so here you are defining a cluster uh, the cluster name and the tracks volume record size you can s you can create a fixed or variable so minimum is 20 and the maximum is like 80 so I want to create the fixed one so the minimum and max length of this record is 80 only so it's instant it is a non indexed so it won't it, w it will not create a indexed component so the only will have a cluster name and followed by the data component let's run this and see okay it's it's already there I'll take it as T1 okay enter okay it's successfully created go to spool and see how many components it has created for this okay it's a sprint you can see data allocation status for volumes is 0 and generated is data component so you don't see in any index component why because you have specified it as a non indexed and I'm trying to copy this okay copy it and go to 3.4 and paste it over here and see see you can see only a cluster name and the data component so that is how oh, that's the way you create your KSDS cluster uh, sorry ESDS cluster and now we'll see uh, how do we create RRDS where is this RRDS okay for here it is so here I'm trying to create the RRDS cluster so same way job card uh, description and uh, the help of ID cams you are going to create this RRDS define cluster name name volume tracks record size the only difference is numbered so just submit it okay I'm going to specify it as T1 okay so the one question over here is will it create an index component you need an answer let's see in the spool so whether it is creating an index or not 
no it won't create it right so we are not specifying any index or non-index but we are specifying it as a number so it will create the RRDS so it will have only a data component and a cluster component so let's go ahead and see to spool go to, I mean it's not spool we'll go to 3.4 and I'll try to paste it okay yes you can see cluster name and the data component right so with this we have successfully created ESDS cluster and ESDS VZAM file you can say and also a RRDS right now we will see how do we create this LDS okay the same way you have to specify it has okay the name tracks volume linear and controllable size just submit it let's see what happens okay zero and one more thing you hear we are not specifying any record length right for all different kinds of cluster we have specified a record length but we are not specifying any record length to this LDS okay see it has been created it will have how many components we'll see okay start 3.4 okay you paste it enter okay okay see you have only these things okay okay with this we have created this uh, we have created a RRDS uh, ESDS and LDS clusters so just recap uh, ESDS will have non-indexed and uh, ESDS, ESDS will have non-indexed and uh, record uh, it will have a number whereas LDS will not have either record size or a, a non-index or index file so it will just have a linear okay so these are the different ways of creating a uh, clusters I mean different kinds of cluster so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel share like or comment I'll be coming up with more and more uh, videos so stay tuned to youtube channel thank you so much and have a great